This is Greg Hayes, and this topic is Bernie Sanders and his bid for the presidency for 2016. And um, I like a lot of what Bernie Sanders has to say. Uh, similar to Donald Trump, he's not controlled by corporate money. Um, so he really is looking at what's best for the country, or what he feels is best for the country. Um, I like the idea that he's looking overseas and seeing some of the... Um, progress they've made overseas and wondering why we have made that same progress here in the United States of America. Um, they have universal health care over there, uh, single payer, which um, at one point in time Donald Trump was in favor of, but now he says it would, it, would, it would no longer work, which isn't fully explained why he thought it was a good idea uh, a decade ago, but now, now it's a bad idea. And Trump wants to repeal Obamacare, so um, <laughs> I, I, I like I like Bernie Sanders. Uh, the fact that he's looking overseas and saying, "Why can't we have single payer health care here as well?" We pay a lot more for things. Um, people are forbidden from going to Canada to get uh, their prescription drugs because it's cheaper in Canada. Um, and uh, I know that sometimes there's a wait, and sometimes people from Canada will come down to America because uh, they can get faster service, but um, if you really believe in the free market, there's going to be people who will provide better service than the government. Um, and if you've got the money, then you can get that faster service. Um, so I, and the other thing is um, ed education in a lot of European countries, higher education is free. Here in America, it used to be close to free, and now it's been jacked up to... Um, what in some parts of the country is a house payment just for a basic four-year degree. This isn't for a medical degree um, or a law degree. And uh, the jobs that people get with a, just a four-year degree are comparable to what people used to get with a high school degree <laughs> in terms of um, where it's going to put you in society. Um, and, and it's going to just make you a struggling middle-class person, basically, which is what you used to get with a high school degree. Um, and why you had to pay through the nose for that or why you had to pay for your kids. Um, my dad, when he got his education, his parents didn't pay for any of it, but it was cheap enough he was able to do it. Um, then my generation, I got some help from my dad, but I was able to pay my half without incurring any debt. And now my generation is supposed to pay for their kids' education no matter how much it costs or their kids are supposed to go deep into debt, deep into debt. Uh, for a basic public education, which is ridiculous. And overseas, they don't have to do that. Overseas, they have, again, free health care and free higher education. And Bernie's bringing up a good point. Why can't we do that here? Um, Hillary Clinton um, is, is just, um, she's got the years in Washington, D.C. Um, she'll be the first female president, and that's why she deserves to be elected. Uh, she's not even that likable if you look at uh, a lot of people think about her. And her um, but she's leading in the Democratic race. Um, she's the I'm not going to rock the boat candidate. Um, a lot of people like that. I mean, if you start making big changes, who knows what the ripple effects will be. Uh, change is always scary. But it's not like we're invent. It's not like we're reinvent. We're not inventing the wheel here. It's been done in Europe. So... Um, and it's been done successfully enough. Um, and so <laughs> it, it's not that radical when it's already been done in other countries. That progress has already been made elsewhere. Um, so I'm hoping Bernie Sanders could pull out the nomination over Hillary Clinton. It's not looking very likely right now. He's still losing by double digits, and it's getting closer and closer. Um, if it came down to Trump, Bernie Sanders... It would be, I like both of them, but uh, for different reasons. I think Trump is strong, pro-America. Um, I was raised in a conservative town, and he has a lot of those conservative values. I also am a business major, and he's a businessman, so I don't have a cushy government job, that, or I'm, and I'm not in a union, and those are tr typical reasons to vote Democrat. I'm also currently not in any public assistance, and that's uh, another reason to vote Democrat. So, um, but my kids are at an age where they should, they're should they going to college soon, and I'd love for them to get a free education <laughs> or, 
or at least a much more affordable one like it was for my dad's generation. Uh, you know, Trump's dad didn't even need to go to college, and he became a multi, you know, multi multi millionaire, and uh, he got to start in construction at eleven. I mean, I just don't see that the, the world has changed, and um, a lot of people try and shoot for middle class. You need an education. You shouldn't have to pay through the nose for that. And um, we've came down to Trump and Sanders. Um, I like Sanders because he's bringing progress. So it would be a it would be tough for me to decide. To vote for, I, mean, I think Trump has a lot more real-world experience in terms of uh, dealing with the way things are right now and the way things can be improved in terms of trade relations um, or, or trade deals. Um, and uh, enforcing immigration laws, I mean, why do we even have them if we're not going to enforce them? He brings up good points. Um, and I think Bernie Sanders, sometimes he doesn't understand how, how competitive the private sector is. I think he's been in government for a very, very long time. And uh, he says that only 75% of corporations pay any income tax. Well, that's because 25% of corporations are losing money because it's highly, highly competitive out there, Bernie. Um, I mean, you, you, just because you have ink after your name doesn't make you profitable. You're in constant competition uh, for customers, for employees, for location, and for talent and the way it's set up, there's going to be winners and losers. And the fact that 75% of companies are making enough money to pay tax is amazing to me. I've, I'm an accountant and I've <laughs> looked at many companies' books and many, many companies really do lose money. And you expect them to pay tax? I mean, income tax? That, they're already paying sales tax. And uh, how can you pay income tax if you're, if you're losing money? They're being funded by loans, either by debt or equity, and uh, they haven't turned a profit yet. Amazon didn't turn a profit for many, many years. Were they supposed to be paying income tax back then, Bernie? So I, I, like, I don't know. I, I haven't made up my mind yet if it came down to, to Bernie or Trump. But Bernie has to beat out Hillary first for it to even matter. So, And he's got his work cut out for him there. Um, so I like Bernie better than Hillary. So right now I'm just hoping that he can win that nomination. And uh, out.